Hi, Dee Langley with Dee Langley Realty Associates and Remax Integrity coming to you today again for our monthly market report here for the Charlotte Metro region. We saw a slight uptick last month in a lot of different areas and now we've seen that after school slump has started to pick up. So as we got to the end of August, everybody was closing on their homes. Not as many people were listing because everybody was getting ready for kids to go back to school. So what we saw was for the Charlotte Metro region, our homes on the market went from 11,290 to 11,150. So we had a small drop again. Now, what does that mean? That means that we're still in that seller's market because we're still at a three month supply. A balanced market, whether it's neither a seller nor a buyer's market, is where we have six months supply of homes, meaning if nobody else ever listed their home, it would take us six months to sell everything that was in the inventory. Well, right now we're at three months. Now we do have a building boom, new constructions going up everywhere, but it is taking uh, the new construction builders at least five to six months to build if they're if you're buying uh, straight from them uh, doesn't mean that you can't have a realtor involved remember that it does not change your purchase price if you have a realtor involved with your new construction but it means from you picking out where they have not even started to grade the property yet it will take five to six months if you do pick a spec home, it can be a little bit quicker. Spec home means specification home, meaning that the builder has already picked out a lot of the things. Um, if you get in early enough with a spec home, you still can pick out all your colors and options and those kinds of things. But with all the building going on, it's still taking them five to six months. And that does keep our inventory again low with not as many people listing their existing homes. Now, what does that mean for the homes that are on the market? Now, our days on market haven't changed too much. We're now at 46. It did drop just a little. We had gotten up to 49 days on the market, but basically it means if you're listing a house from the time you list to the time you get a contract is about six weeks. And then from the time that you get a contract to the time that you close is about six weeks. So we've got a three month turnaround and there goes that days on market again. We're right about three months. Now, for the Charlotte Metro region, our average list price actually went down. Um, with all of the new construction that is going on, a lot of the builders are building 300,000 plus homes. So, meaning they are 300,000 or more, or you'll see the high 200s. Well, that's what it looks like that this has come across. The average list price right now is $287,000 and the average sale price is around 271. So you're seeing that we had a small drop in those purchase prices over um, last month. Now, what does it mean as we drill down into our different areas? If you look at Union County as a whole, Union County as a whole had 455 homes on the market in August. They were 43 days on the market and also it was a 2.9 months supply. Monroe, Monroe had a good number of homes at 110 homes on the market in August, 52 days on the market and a 2.4 month supply. Then also in Waxhaw, Waxhaw we saw a good uptick in homes. There are now 140 homes on the market. They're at 43 days is what it takes to get a contract on them and a 3.7 month supply. We saw an uptick in Waxhaw versus a lot of the other towns. And also for Indian Trail, if you look at Indian Trail, Indian Trail we had 162 homes, 39 days on the market but we are at a 1.6 month supply. So as school started, we generally will see a slowdown right as school starts because everybody's trying to get into their homes right before school starts. Then of course, you've got the flurry of activity of getting the kids back into school. We'll see, we'll see a small uptick again as things continue. Once the kids get settled in school, we'll start seeing around Christmas as well because that's when there's a break. For those of you that are renting, we do have a little bit of good news about that. The rental market actually went down. It went down a little less than $50, but 
that at least shows that affordability has been the key in the shift in our market lately. Trying to find a home, if you ask anybody who's looking for a home under 200,000, you'll see that they're having a very hard time finding a home. You're there finding um, that there are multiple offers on these homes. You'll see a lot of that. So when people go to rent homes, the rental market is, is just as scarce. They're finding that um, the rental prices are higher. They're finding that it's, it's less and less affordable to purchase or to rent a home. Um, and you might as well try to purchase. So as we're seeing these things continue, it's a really great sign that even some of the rental market has gone down. Hopefully, as the year progresses on, we will see more homes get listed. I know I've got, heard lots of buzz about people talking about coming up in the spring. Do not let spring be what holds you back. If, it's, if you're thinking about selling, now's the time. I look forward to speaking to you. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Dean. Bye-bye.